Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here doing another Gunpla review. In today's episode, we're covering the Buster Gundam from Gundam Seed. This is one of my favorite Gundams from that season. Not the favorite, that would be the Freedom and the Strike and its various incarnations. But this is the third, my third favorite. Fourth favorite. A straight go above them. But above this one. But yeah, this is one of my favorite Gundams from the set. And I got this Gundam because it was cheap and I could get it. The only thing I wish it was more color correct. And there is some issues with the whole gun gimmick. I'll get to that in a moment when I do the actual review. But with that being said, I picked up this dude at my local hobby store. But I believe you can also get him at our friends at Galactic Toys. So use my link down below if you want to support the channel. Or order my books. You know, again, support the channel. So, let's get into the review and talk about my fourth favorite mobile suit from the Gundam Seed franchise. Okay, so this is everything that comes in box. There is no extra pieces, there are no extra hands, no beam weapons, no nothing. You get a base adapter piece, which is basically you split the Gundam in half, you lift up the upper half, you put this piece down, and then you can use an action base on it. And the sticker sheet. I would say it's a small sticker sheet, but uh, it's just disappointing because you have to use stickers for each of the cheeks, the eyes, the camera right here, and th this part on both arms. As you can clearly see, you can partially see here and clearly see here. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it could have either used more stickers or more different colors or paint because, prime example, as you see in the box, this is supposed to be gray. As you see here, it's orange. So you will have to paint it. And heck, even the missiles aren't even color accurate, uh, color correct. Because they're all literally just the gr dark green of the shoulder. So you have to paint that gray and orange. So let's put this back on. There we go. So let's get to the important stuff. The review. First, let's do the legs. That's like all the way up. That's rather disappointing. That's the knee band, not great. Let's see if we got the splits. We do got a good split. Not great, but good. Slight ab crunch, not bad. Full head rotation, always good. Again, you would think that's hard. <laughs> that shouldn't be hard, but it is. So, move this out of the way. This, by the way, is the arm fully bent. Now, actually, now it is. And this is the arm fully extended. It does not have good forward rotation on it because of the chest and the rockets. So, yeah. You will not get great articulation out of this Gundam. Now let's actually get it to base mode and then then you'll see some of the other issues, okay? That. Full on, smack the camera today. Alright, let's see if I can get this right in the first try. Also, be careful with this gun specifically. It has a bad habit of splitting at the end of it. So... See here, there's a little spot here for this little clip part here. There you go. And do it again on this side. There we go. There we go. So, the only two weapons he has is the rifle and the shotgun. The articulation here with the handle, it goes up and down. Very simple. So, I've noticed the Master Grade was good, but not great when it comes to the whole gimmick of weapon connection. But this, even getting it into the hands, is a struggle. 
This is why you left it in the holding position because it is a struggle to get them back into it. So I'm going to try on camera to get it into at least the super sniper rifle mode. So wish me luck everybody. Wow, this right here, you guys can see there's no real connection here. So, I guess that's the. So I'm thinking there should be a rotate. No, no rotation. Just. Yep. Yeah. Not great. This is, again, I don't know why is it so difficult to get the one gimmick this mobile suit has. Get the weapons back in their spots because clearly fighting with it isn't going to work. And I'm not in the mood to break my Gundam. Okay. It's a solid kit, but again, I'm going to remind you. The tip of this weapon will split open, as you can clearly see the massive seam line running down the barrel. It'll run down the entire gun. But yeah, you will, this will split open, so you will have occasionally have to squeeze it back close again. It is a pain. I do like the detail work on it, and this was a very fast build. Like, it only took me like an hour and a half to knock this out. So... It's a quick build, so that's always a good thing. So let's get to the summary and wrap up the review, and yeah. So, all in all, will I recommend the Buster Gundam? Eh, yes and no. Yes, if you like Gundam C. Yes, if you like heavy duty assault military, massive. The answer to all my problems can be solved with gratuitous amount of firepower. AE stuff like the Leopard, or Lepardo, or the Heavy Arms. All this dude. The answer to all my problems can be solved with large, heavy ordnance. Kind of mobile suits. If you love those guys, this is for you. But this is... Very, the guns are held in very flims, flimsily. The... You do need paint to make it completely correct. That's the problem with these older kits. Paint is really required. They say it's not, but it is. If you want to show accuracy, you got to need to paint it. It's sta solid and stable, so it won't fall over on you, which is great. But the articulation's pretty bad, and you're going to have to deal with that. With that being said, yes, I would recommend it. It's a decent kit. It looks great. Without paint and all that, it does look very correct. It's just when you start looking at the details. But again, that's just my opinion. So I picked up this dude at our friends at Galactic Toys. So if you want to pick... Not Galactic Toys. I picked this up at my local hobby store. But if you want one, I believe our friends at Galactic Toys has it. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Better than I was last week, but not, you know, super great. But... Thursday's up. I will probably be able to do an episode on Thursday, and, yet, and again, it will be a core Gundam because I'm <laughs> running. It, but it may be a custom build core Gundam, so a little bit of a mixed bag, both a custom build and a core Gundam. So you get two for. So with that being said, oh, and Monday's episode I haven't decided on. Well, next Sunday's episode, I mean, because it's either going to be the Perfect Strike high grade, the High grade unicorn base form, the Abyss, the real grade Wing Zero, Endless Waltz version, or the Master Grade Curios. I really need to eventually build that. But that's a future me problem. But aside from that, I want to thank everybody for watching. Everyone from joining the channel, if you're new here, greatly appreciate you joining us. 
If you've been here from the beginning, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please go to use my link, order something from Galactic Toys, or use my link, order anything from Entertainment Earth. It won't give you a discount, unfortunately, but it'll support the channel uh, by supporting me. Or if you want to support me directly, you can always order my books. If you want to support my family, you can always use the Kickstarter. It only has like five more days. Four or five more days, so we may have to get rid of that eventually. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day, have a great week, and have a great life.